uh, to our regular Chart TV episodes. Today we're going to uh, take a little, uh, a bit of a look at the sort of research I've been conducting. Um, you may be aware that I've been conducting intra, uh, research on the intraday price movements of certain markets. Um, and I just thought I'd share some of my uh, observations and discoveries with you and point the way as to how to conduct your research. Uh, this sort of research, um, I, people, I haven't really read anywhere uh, of anyone doing this sort of thing and I think it's a bit of a different way to look at the markets and the insights it has provided me are invaluable and I think that the insights it could possibly provide you would also be invaluable for your particular market. I've only used it on one market but I imagine that it would work across a whole range of markets. Um, that's for you to decide and for me to later discover I guess. Anyway what I do is basically I take a get an intraday chart such as this chart here. Uh, this is the market I'm interested in at the moment and what I do is I mark down the low which uh, the, the time of the low which occurred at about uh, roughly 11 o'clock which I found it rather interesting that it reversed exactly at bang on 11 o'clock and the high time for this market which was about 12.30 we can see here um, it's not I, I don't tend to be that exact to the second but you can be if you like it's up to you now well, what we do is we go and put this data into a spreadsheet and as I said before I, I don't think that you can really uh, purchase this sort of data I think it's sort of data you have to make for yourself which is fantastic because uh, this means that you if you build a system around this you know like each each uh, you know the data well you know what it's about and what it's what what you're trying to discover with this data you're not just going off someone else's opinion or someone else's calculations these are your calculations so what I've done is I've just got a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet uh, and what I've done is I've put in the daily range so I get an average uh, for the market um, now I'm not going to go through the uh, common Excel formulas there's a million books and programs out there and, 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 and courses out there that will show you how to use Excel and uh, the features I use, there's nothing fancy or special. I just get a daily average. Uh, I get an average for this, and I'm looking at the daily range. Uh, it turns out that the average for this market is a 35-point range. I then note down the load time, uh, which in this case was uh, 11 a.m. Uh, and then I note down the high time, which in this case was 12:30 a.m. Uh, the PM, sorry. Now the interesting that I've interesting thing that I've done here is I've divided. Uh, this market has a um, a six-hour trading session, and what I've done is I had the hypothesis that the market tends to make extreme extremes of range. That is, the highs and lows for the days, and either the first half an hour or the last half an hour of trade. Um, Dr. Alexander Elder in Trading for a Living living often talks about amateurs opening the market and professionals closing it. If that's the case, uh, then you you're going to see they're going to it's going to indicate. Uh, um, uh, they're going to leave their footprint uh, on the market when they do make their move. So, um, and, and most of the volume comes into the market. What happens is, and I've talked about this before, is that uh, a lot of uh, traders are, are not full-time traders and can't afford to sit in front of the trading screen all day, unlike brokers and professional traders. Um, millions of people across the world have hold down regular day jobs and uh, they, base the, they make their trading decisions when they get home from their day job. They read the newspaper or watch the TV news or listen to the radio or, or surf the internet and get their uh, trading decision. They, they may make it the night before the next trading session the market opens and we're usually talking about stock markets here because forex markets are pretty much 24 7 but um with stock markets people tend to make their trading decision the night before or the morning uh, just before the market opens and what happens is you'll find all these orders bank up just before market open so if most of the volume of trades is done in the, where, just after the market opens it stands to reason that with most vo with the greatest volume you're going to get the greatest uh, price movement so you're going to get you you your higher your low for the day. Um, that's all great in theory, but how do you prove this? How do you statistically verify this? And what I've done here is try to um, put, find out exactly whether this theory like has and holds, you know, any real value. Is is it true or is it just a, a theory? So what I've done here is I've divided this uh, market session uh, into of uh, it's the uh, six hour session into twelve half an hour slots. And I've gone through a number then 1 through 12. So the first half an hour, 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. is uh, 1. Uh, 10.30 to 11 is 2. And so on and so forth. Right up to uh, 12. Hold on a tick. Alright. So what I've done here now is I've gone, gone and run a count. And you can see uh, on the values. And you can see that the out of 100... 
137 uh, recordings. Um, the low was made uh, 68 of those 137 times. I don't have the percentage here, but that's roughly uh, over 50 percent. And the high was often made in the first half an hour, uh, once again about just under 50 percent of the time. Is this statistically significant? Um, yes, I believe so. Uh, obviously, with larger sample sizes, um, and all, and uh, say I'd narrow this down into 24 periods or, or 48 or whatever, however many you want to do, I believe you can uh, get some very uh, uh, good research on when a, mar a market is likely to make an extreme high or an extreme low of range. What does this mean? It means that uh, on a um, if you've got a trading system and you say you've you've uh, been looking at end of day charts and you can see that uh, a stock is in a uptrend or downtrend and you want to position yourself, you want to find the optimum time of day to buy or sell to enter enter this trade or enter this position uh, with this um, with research like this, you can determine that time on a daily chart. So I think it's very handy and it's invaluable. And it's my gift to you here on Chart TV. Please feel free to go ahead and 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 uh, conduct research like this, or, or based on like some of uh, you know similar sort of uh, thinking um, on your own markets. I'm Malcolm Gordon. Thanks for watching Chart TV. I'll see you next time.